Well, Ninjago Crystallized came out. So, as many of you know, and by you I mean the only three people that watch this channel, Ninjago Crystallized came out and featured a crystallized version of all the golden weapons. But the ones released in the set were fucking shit. These versions of the golden weapons were really underwhelming, so I took it upon myself to build new and better ones. So to build the Scythe of Quakes, you first need a short pole piece, you need one of these uh, cones in translucent pink, you need the uh, crystallized sword used by the Venstone Warriors and some of the generals, you need a clip piece in pearl gold, you need a golden lightsaber hilt, a pyramid thing, I think, I think that's the name of the piece, uh, in translucent pink, and a hollow golden stud. A uh, quick location change so I can have more room. So you start by putting the lightsaber hilt on the short pole piece, and then you put the clip on top. You then attach uh, the sword onto there, and you take the cone piece and put it next to it there. Or on the back of it, it is quite loose, but if you're using this for display, then it's really good. Then you put the hollow stud on the bottom of the uh, pyramid piece, attach that to the bottom, and then you're done. This is how Vangelis looks with the Scythe of Quakes on him, and I think it looks really, really cool. And this is how Dragon Cole looks with the Scythe of Quakes. It doesn't look as good as Vangelis, but it still looks quite good. Next up is the Sword of Fire, and this only needs three pieces. You need the same blade piece that we use for the Scythe of Quakes, another golden lightsaber hilt, and you also need, um, ideally, another uh, pyramid piece, but I don't have another one, so I had to use a translucent pink stud, uh, flat stud. This came from- I'm sacrificing the crystal spider, um, for this, so... Yeah. Anyway, so you have to put the blade on top of the lightsaber hilt, and then the stud slash pyramid if you have one on the bottom, and yet yeah, then you're done. This really was the most complicated one was the side of the quake, so it's only gonna go downhill from here. Here is how a sphera looks with the sword. Uh, I don't have crystallized sphera yet. Uh, the only crystallized villain that I actually have is the. Evangelis and the Crystal King. Um, but yeah, here's how his Pharaoh looks. Quite good. And then... Um, I'm only going to do this in one take. Here is how... Uh, Dragon Kai looks. Again, not as good. Just much rather give him the regular Sword of Fire. Uh, but yeah, it's still quite good. So, next up are the crystallized nunchucks of lightning, and for this you need two of the pyramid pieces in translucent pink again, uh, one pearl gold chain, and two pearl gold lightsaber hilts. I don't know if the chain has been released in uh, translucent pink yet, if it has, use that, but uh, I only have the golden piece if it has. So, you're going to want to put the pyramids on the end of the lightsaber hilts. And then, I think everyone knows how to do this, I don't know why I'm doing a tutorial. Uh, you attach the chain to the top, I keep fucking dropping it, and here they are. Again, not as good as it could be. If I had another one of these pyramid pieces, then I would add them to the top, but I don't, so... Oh well. Uh, here's how Jay looks, because I don't have crystallized pythor or regular pythor. Um, so I'm only going to use Jay as a comparison here. Here's how Jay looks with them. Honestly, these might be the worst. This might be the worst one, just because of how simple it is. Um, but it's just the fact that I am missing lots of pieces. So yeah. And now I'm just going to do this in one take. The Shurikens of Ice. Uh, I've only managed to do one because I couldn't be asked painting another one, and I only did one half. So. Uh, there's no way to customize the shuriken piece like at all. This is this thing is tiny. I, I guess the most you could do is this. But what's the point of doing that? You just physically cannot customize these things. So I had to get some Posca markers, draw the crystal thing on them, and um, that was the best I could do. 
So here it is on Mr. E. And here it is on my custom uh, mechanic minifigure. It's alright, but again, easily. Apart from the nunchucks of lightning, the worst one. That is how you build all of the crystallized golden weapons. Uh, please focus! Come on, my phone's literally about to die. I need to get this film. Uh, yeah, here's how I build all of the crystallized golden weapons. I might do some more Ninjago how it builds, like a regular Scythe of Quakes. Or something else. Um, yeah. So, hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, probably didn't, because it was quite shit. But, uh, yeah.